Hey, it's Matt here and welcome back to my YouTube channel where today I'm sharing with you my five top tips for manifestation and how following these five very simple daily practices can help you manifest and attract exactly what you want to desire in your life. But it's important to remember that in order to attract and manifest anything into your life, you must be a certain frequency, you must understand the laws that govern this universe, especially the law of vibration, and realize that manifestation is just being aligned to source energy. So I'm gonna dive straight in and stay tuned, especially as I reveal uh, my fifth tip. So I'm gonna dive straight in with tip number one, and that is gratitude. In order to manifest, you must first be in gratitude for what you truly want to desire. And I start every morning, ideally before the rest of the household is awake, I avoid distraction, I don't check my phone for emails or messages, I don't want any negativity, and I just focus on thinking about 10 things that I'm grateful for. And you can write it in a journal, write it in your phone in the notes section, but there's always something to be grateful for, even if you feel like your life isn't that great, just like your heart that's beating right now and keeping you alive. And when you're grateful, you're sending a message to your subconscious mind that you are happy, you're a certain frequency, you're content about your life, and I would recommend doing that for the things that you want to desire. So for example, if it's more money that you're looking to attract in your life, then you can't want more money because when you want money, you're in lack of it. But if you think about it and say to yourself, I'm blessed and grateful for the abundance of money that just keeps flowing towards me, over a period of time compounded over a 30 day period, let's say, or a 60 day period, your subconscious mind will start to think and act like you have got an abundance of money. And by the natural laws of this universe, you will start to see more money flowing into your life. So that would be my first tip, focus on gratitude. My second top tip, is meditation. Now meditation is a relatively new concept to me. I only started it about 18 months ago. I was a bit of a skeptic. I didn't really fully understand the benefits of meditation. However, I now realize that meditation holds a very vital place for manifestation because it's important to firstly be present because the mind can only operate in the present moment. And secondly, be able to master the art of being able to avoid negative and self-limiting doubts and thoughts that appear in the mind. And the way I see meditation, it's as simple as this, just trying to practice the art of getting rid of any negative thoughts that come and see your thoughts as clouds that just shift across. What so many people do wrong in life is a negative thought will come into their mind. It could be something they're worrying about, a lack of something. They hold on to that cloud, that thought, and it grows and gets worse and then affects them in their personal life. Now, with meditation, and I would recommend if you are a beginner, starting with as little as five minutes to 10 minutes a day, um, follow guided meditations. They're always the best when getting started because your mind will start to wonder and talk to you otherwise. And there are plenty of videos on YouTube for that, or Headspace, the app is fantastic for, for beginners, and I still use it myself. And just wanting to try and practice the art of shifting uh, your thoughts across so you can get to a place where you can be in control of your thoughts and then your emotions that come as a consequence of any thoughts that appear. Now, diving straight into my third tip actually comes very nicely with my second, and that's to avoid negative situations and people. You know, if you're surrounded by people who are negative, what it's actually gonna do is it's gonna bring the frequency down. And it's gonna, it's gonna try and make it, well, it will make it harder for you to manifest the desire because again, if you wanna attract something, you have to be at that frequency, at that energy level. If you're with someone who's negative, they're gonna be bringing you down. So avoid that situation. Now, it's not always that simple to avoid negative people, especially if the people who are in your personal life 24 seven are negative then meditation will help with that because what it's gonna to start to do after a period of time is help you um, essentially get rid of any negative thoughts that come your way as a consequence of the people that you surround yourself with. So my third tip again is to avoid negativity, negative people. And then diving straight into my fourth tip, and I love this one, it's actually to take risks. Far too many people in life are never willing to step outside of their comfort zone, when really, if you want to attract and achieve anything in life, your best life, you must first get uncomfortable. You must do something that's outside of the comfort zone that you're in. And a great example of this is, let's say a bodybuilder 
who goes to the gym and wants to get six pack abs and great muscles, they must first be uncomfortable with lifting those weights. And then over a period of time, you know, growth starts to kick in and they start to see improvements on their physique. So step outside your comfort zone, do something that you wouldn't normally do, take a risk, and over a period of time, you'll definitely see the benefits of that taking over. And then my fifth and final tip, which is something I love, is a vision or a dream board. It's as simple as that. You know, in order to attract anything in life, you must first be clear on exactly what it is that you want to attract. And I think to do this, you first must work out what you want. Go onto the internet, download pictures or photos of, of what it is, whether it's your dream house, your dream car, that dream job, anything that's gonna help your vision board come to life, print it. It doesn't always have to be a traditional board. It could be a digital board. I actually use a digital board myself, so I've got a collage of photos on my iPhone as a background, and it all comes together really, really nicely. So that would be my absolute tip. You wanna stare at that vision board every day. You wanna really feel the emotion of what it's like. For example, you know, it could be a Lamborghini that you're looking to desire. You want to feel what it's like to drive, feel the adrenaline, the dopamine, the smell, what it smells like, you know, the leather. I don't want a Lamborghini, I'm just using this as an example. So by far the most important method of operation when looking to manifest is to get clear on your vision. So there we go. I hope that it's helped. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you did like it, please drop me a like below. And if you wanna see more videos like this, please subscribe and hit the bell notification and you'll be the first to know when I upload new videos. Thanks again, and I can't wait to see you in another video soon. Bye-bye.